if you have ever wondered if there is a general formula for number of normals in a given parabola y square equals to 4ax and yes there is a formula for that so if you have a parabola y square equal to 4ax and we have to find number of normals that can be drawn through the point x1 y1 where x1 is an equal to 2a or y1 is an equal to 0 because it is a very trivial case so we are considering a general case so in this case we we'll let h as 2a minus x1 upon 3a and g as minus y1 upon a and we'll define delta as g square plus 4h cube now if delta is greater than 0 the number of normals that can be drawn through that point is 1 if delta is equal to 0 number of normals is simply 2 and if delta is less than 0 then number of normals is 3 so we need to prove this formula so for this parabola y square is equal to 4ax we know that equation of normal is given by y equals mx minus a m cube minus twice a m now we need equation of normal that passes through the point x1 comma y1 so i'll put the value of this point here so i'll write y1 equals to m x1 minus a m cube minus twice a m so i'll rearrange this equation i'll write a m cube plus 2 a minus x1 into m and then plus y1 equals 0 i'll divide by a also so i'll write n cube plus 2 a minus x1 upon a into m and then plus y1 upon a equals 0 now we have taken 2x minus x1 upon 3a as h and minus y1 upon a as g so if i replace this equation in terms of h and g so then i can write this equation as n cube now 2a minus x1 upon a it is 3h so i'll write plus 3hm and y upon a so y1 upon a is simply minus g so it is minus g and this is equals to 0 so we'll get a cubic equation which is n cube plus 3 h n minus g equals to 0 now once we have this cubic equation i like this function fm as n cube plus 3 h n and then minus g if i differentiate i like f dash m as 3 m square plus 3h now if i take this first case when h is positive in that case f dash m and which is 3m square plus 3h is always greater than 0 so in that case it will always be an increasing function so if it is an increasing function then it will intersect x-axis only at one point so in that case it will have only one normal so we'll have only one normal when h is greater than zero so if h is greater than zero in that case this delta which is g square plus 4 h cube now g square is positive h is also positive so in this case delta it should be zero now we'll consider the case when h is less than zero when h is negative we are not considering the case when h is zero because we have already taken the condition that x1 is unequal to 2a in that case we will have only one normal now when h is less than zero then in that case we can write f dash m as 3m square plus 3h equals to zero then i write m square as minus 3h then m will be plus or minus under root of minus h so if i'll plot i'll get minus under root of minus h and plus under root of minus h now what's the sign of the rightmost so it is plus minus and plus now at minus of under root of minus h the sign changes from plus to minus so that means it is a point of local maxima and at minus uh, under root of minus h 
sign changes from minus to plus, it is a point of local minima. So I'll find the values at this point. I'll find the value of f minus of under root of minus h. So if I'll put the value of this, I'll get it as minus under root of minus h cube and then plus 3 h and in place of m I'll write minus of minus under root h and then minus g. So I'll write this. So it is minus and then minus h square again will be plus so h into under root of minus h and here I'll get minus 3h into under root of minus h and then minus g. So which is minus twice h into under root of minus h and then minus g. If I find f under root of minus h, so if I put f under root of minus h, I'll get minus h into under root of minus h. Here it will be minus 3h under root of minus h plus 3h under root of minus h and then minus g. So in that case I get twice h under root of minus h and then minus g. So this is the value of local maximum and that is the value of local minimum. Now for h less than 0, we will consider the first case when this equation will have only one normal. Now for only one normal, both of them either they should be positive or both of them should be negative. So in this case, I will get this condition as f of minus under root of minus h into f of under root of minus h, it should be greater than 0. Either both of them positive or both of them negative. So I'll write this as, so what is f of minus under root of minus h? So it is minus 2h under root of minus h minus g and it is twice h under root of minus h minus g. It should be greater than 0. So I take this minus sign common. So I'll write twice h under root of minus h plus g and twice h under root of minus h minus g should be greater than 0. So I'll write minus and then it'll be 4h square into minus h and then minus g square should be greater than 0. So if I'll multiply this minus sign, I'll get 4h cube plus g square and it should be greater than 0. Now 4h cube plus g square is nothing but delta. So from here, I'll get this condition as delta is greater than 0. So when h is greater than 0, for one normal condition is delta should be greater than 0. When h is less than 0, then to the condition is delta should be greater than 0. So we'll get our first condition that whichever way, delta is greater than 0, then the number of normal will be simply 1. Now we'll come to the second case, two normals. Now for two normals, so that means this cubic equation should have equal roots. So in that case, the graph should be either this or it should be in this way. So in this case, at least one of this f of minus of under root minus h or f of under root of minus h, one of them should be zero. So in that case, I can write the condition as f under root of minus of minus h into f under root of minus h, it should be zero. And we have already done this. We have multiplied them previously. If we'll multiply, we'll get 4h cube plus g square is equal to zero. So from here, the condition will be delta is equal to zero. So if the value of delta is zero, then in that case, number of normals will be simply 2. Now if we have to find the condition that 3 normals can be drawn through this point, then in that case this equation should have 3 real roots. So this equation will have 3 real roots when, when the graph will be drawn like this, right? So in this case we know that one of the values should be positive and the other value should be negative. So in that case f minus of under root of minus h into f under root of minus h, this should be less than 0. Again, we have already multiplied it. So this value will be 4h cube plus g square and then it should be less than 0. So when delta is less than 0, in that case, we'll have three normals. So this is the general formula to find number of normals 
in a parabola passing through the point x1 comma y1 for any general point except when x1 is unequal to 2a or y1 is unequal to 0. So 